Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log a raised to power x equals to log 80 from here. The next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 80 on this side. The next step, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. As this here, we have log 8 cancelled each other. We have x equals to log 80 over log 8. Then, next step here, we can express 80 as 8 times 10, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8. Then, here, yeah, this follows when we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. At this, here we have log 8 cancel each other on one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 8. Next step here, also 10 can be written as 2 times 5. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8. Then this also follows the law of logarithm. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 8. That is here. We separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. Then, next step here, also, it can be written as 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 keep. Then, what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 cube plus log 5 over log 2 cube. Then, here we apply. The power law of logarithm 3 comes here and also here. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. Then here yeah, we have log 2 cancel each other 1 over 3 left here. That is x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3 plus here we have 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2. Then, next step here, you can write 1 plus 1 over 3 as 1 number 1 over 3, which is the same thing as 4 over 3. All we have becomes x equals to 4 over 3. Plus here we have 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2. 
Then here we apply change of weights when we have log A over log B with the same thing as log A to base B. That is here we have x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2. Then yeah, we bring this together as one fraction. We have x equals to the SM here as 3. And here we have 4 plus log 5 base 2. That is the value of x here. We have 4 plus log 5 is 2 or over 3. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log 5 with 2 all over 3. Then, what we have here becomes 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 5 with 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then here, we can write it as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 4, plus log 5 base 2, all over 3. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then this power multiplies, and 3 here comes to each other. We have 2 raised to power 4, plus log 5 base 2, is it equals to 80 on this side? In this follows the law of indices. When we have a raised to power n plus n, this same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. At this here, we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And 2 raised to power 4 here, that's to multiply itself four times as 16 then times this follows and we have a raised to power log b to base a this goes to b and this here we have 5 is it equals to 80 on this side and of course 16 times 5 gives us 80 which is equals to 80 from the left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video with a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now